Tonight, Governor Inslee says he is highly likely to extend his stay-at-home order. That order is set to expire on Monday. Today, his staff said any extension would likely come a few days before then. Now, that move would come as the governor is issuing a call to local companies to join the fight against coronavirus and start manufacturing much-needed supplies for health care workers. Supplies are now getting dangerously low, and cases are only expected to get worse. In the last few hours, the state has updated its latest reports on the outbreak. Out of the nearly 75,000 tests that have been issued in Washington, nearly 6,000 have come back positive. That's led to the deaths of 247 people. Kyra 7's Gary Horker kicks off our team coverage tonight with more on Governor Inslee's wartime call to action for manufacturers to start making life-saving equipment. Well, the governor's call to all state manufacturers to stop what they're doing, whatever they're making, retool and start making urgently needed medical supplies was really a call to action to help save the heroes in the front lines, the doctors, the nurses and the first responders. We're standing in front of a manufacturer here in North Seattle that urgently decided to stop making sensors and start manufacturing face shields. Within minutes after the governor made this urgent call to action, we just got to realize we have to put pedal to the metal right here on a volunteer basis in the state of Washington. Manufacturers around the state of Washington started volunteering to fill the immediate shortage of life-saving medical supplies. Our phone has been ringing for people saying, count me in or I make this part of a face mask or I can make this part of a face mask. Can I be a part of the solution here as well? Chris Johnson is the CEO of the Association of Washington Business, and he says the governor inspired companies to stop producing whatever they were making and start assembling surgical masks and face shields and more for health care workers all on the front lines of the COVID-19 crisis. The governor talked about the urgent actions made by the greatest generation. We need to now do what we did in World War II. In World War II, the people of Washington State built B-29s. The same spirit of workers rolling up their sleeves to save lives then is happening again now. And it's really great to see companies who have stood up. Uh, I think about like Fluke Corporation, who on a very short notice over a weekend uh, said, hey, we can produce face shields here. Companies like Cass Taylor and Muckle Teal are already answering the call. Hey, they stopped producing furniture are now supplying local hospitals with surgical masks. Other companies are now retooling after realizing they too have the means to fill the dwindling supply of protective gear. So they had some of the raw products in there, right? And they had to refigure out their equipment to answer this call to action and they were able to do it. And now are making face masks. And by the way, they're going to a local hospital. It's right in their local community. We're told a lot of the businesses stepping up in this effort are doing it despite some very lean and tough economic times, but they still want to innovate to be part of the solution and come up with ways to fill the gap of life-saving gear. Reporting in North Seattle, I'm Gary Horker, Cairo 7 News.